Hey, if you were in group B and <laughs> my camera died in the middle of our math lesson, or actually at the beginning of our math lesson, I wanted to show you um, the two problems that I couldn't show you with manipulatives. So I'm going to do that really quickly right now. Um, if Only if you were in group B. Just take a second to watch. So if I have my place value chart right here, and I have this problem right below, I'm doing 70,635, and I'm adding 19,857. This was the first problem we did, and hopefully you can just kind of look at it with the place value chips. So that means we'd have five ones. There's five ones. And then we'd have three tens. There's three tens. And then we'd have six hundreds. Here's six hundreds. And then we'd have some thousands. We'd have no thousands, right? And then we would have seven of these blue chips. There's six, and I'm going to move this over a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And there is needs to be seven, ten thousands. So this is our first number. This is 70,635, right? Now I'm going to add seven chips to that. So I'm adding, here's my seven chips. I just counted them out and I'm adding them. And I have way too many chips, right? I'm going to count out 10 of those chips. So there's five and there's 10. And now I have two left. I'm going to take these 10 and I'm going to cash them in. These are 10, this is 10 ones. 10 times one. And 10 times 1 is the same thing as this. So I'm going to cash these in for that. Then I'm going to add 5 more 10s. So here's 5 more 10s, right? So I just did this. I have 2 left, right? And I cashed in for a 10, one of these. Now I'm going to add, I just added five, and I have nine when I do that. So I end up with nine. I don't have to regroup. Now I'm going to add eight more hundreds. So I'm going to go like this, and I add eight hundreds, and that's a lot. I can tell already that I probably have more than ten, right? So I'm going to count out 10. This is 10. I'm going to put these four down here, right? Because 6 plus 8 is 14. I'm going to take these 10, and I'm going to regroup them over here. And they're going to become this, right? So they become a lavender chip. Now I have to add nine lavender chips because it's I'm adding nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. When I add nine, I end up with ten, right? So that means I'm going to trade these. I'm going to cash them in for one of these, right? So I just traded them in for one of those. So I end up with this zero here, right, which I have zero here. And then I have, I'm going to add one more because I have to add the one on the bottom. So I end up with five nine, right? 5 plus 4 is 9, so I end up with 9 over here. So I get 90,492, okay? I'm sorry the camera wasn't working. I just went and got a new cable from Alicia's office, and 
So sometimes technology doesn't work and you just figure out how to deal with it and move on, right? We don't throw a tantrum. I didn't start yelling and crying even though I wanted to. <laughs> I'm going to show you one more because we did one more together in the other two groups. So I'm going to go like this and I'm just going to write problem number two down here. Problem number two is 53,496 and this was our bottom number we were adding to it, right? And I know we already did this in class. We just didn't do it with the little chips. So I'm going to start out with six chips because my top number has a six, six ones. There's six chips. Now I need nine tens. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I have how many hundreds? Looks like I need four of those, right? Four hundreds, three thousands, and I have five of these ten thousands, right? Okay. So this is my top number, 53,490. You can see I have nine there. There's a lot. 96, right? Now I'm going to add this. So I'm going to start always starting at the ones place, right? I'm going to start at the ones place, and I'm going to add five more chips. When I add the five chips, that gives me a lot of chips. So I'm going to want to cash. I'm going to count out 10. There's five and five, and that leaves me with one. I'm going to take these ten, and I'm going to cash them in for this, right? Boop. Now, all I've done so far is this, right? I cashed it in. Now, if I count these out, I should have ten, right? Because I'm going to add... Nine. I forgot to add, um, oh, there it is. It fell. So I have 10 of these. That means I'm going to cash them in. If I have exactly 10, I'm going to cash them in for one of these. Because 10 times 10, right, this is 10. Each one's worth 10. I have 10 of them. 10 times 10 is the same thing as 100, right? Oh, I love math. I just think that's the coolest thing. So what I just did is this. I cashed in so that I added one to the hundreds. Now I'm going to add eight. There's four. <clears throat> There's eight. Now I know I have more than ten there, so I'm going to count out my ten. That leaves me with three down here. And I'm going to take these 10. See how I have 10? And I'm going to cash them in for a lavender because these are each worth 100. And if I have 10 times 100, I have 1,000. So I'm cashing it in. Now I have to add seven because I'm adding seven, right? And this is 13. So I'm adding four, five, six, seven to this, and I'm adding it to this, and I end up with, here's 10, right? And I'm going to leave one behind, and I'm going to cash these guys in for a dark blue, because if I have 1,000 times 10, I have 10,000, so I cash it in. Then I'm going to add two. Boop. And when I total these up, it looks like it's going to be less than 10. I have eight. Okay. So my answer is 81,301. Right? So if you were in our classroom, we would be using these chips to do some of these problems. And I couldn't really send these home with you because 
they didn't send us enough to begin with, so it would be hard to give each family one of these because we didn't really get enough to start out with. We usually use them in partners. So that's how you can use chips for adding and regrouping. And remember, you're always starting in the ones. And when you get 10, you regroup. When you get 10, you regroup, right? You just move to the next place, the next highest place value column to regroup. All right, I hope that helped. And thank you for being patient and watching it again. Sorry we had to do it twice.